Hey there all YouTubers. My latest experiment is going to be with modifying the vortex ring for a low and slow cook. Alright, so what I have is the vortex ring filled with charcoal just up to the top, just level with charcoal. And I removed seven pieces of charcoal and that's what I'm going to start with. I'll get those lit, then I'll put those in here. And I just have three pieces of uh, hickory to uh, add some wood flavor. And uh, what I'll be uh, smoking over tonight is uh, brisket point. So that's what I'm doing. See if it works. All I'll be using today is using the point. Now, once I get it cleaned up, get the fat cleaned off, I'll be giving it a nice dose of the kosher salt. And for some seasoning, I'm going with this uh, Low Bell's all-purpose uh, seasoning. Uh, if you could see what's all in there, it has a lot of pepper flakes and and uh, seasonings, black pepper, and it's got some coffee in there. You can smell the coffee. Uh, Santa brought me that, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I don't like big bits on my stuff. You guys know that. I'm going to be putting it in the uh, spice grinder. Grinding that up nice and fine. And uh, getting it on the point. So, it'll have about four hours from now for the salt, salt to penetrate and the seasoning to penetrate in. It's not really about the brisket, but what's better for a low and slow type of experiment than brisket? Low and slow. And into the refrigerator it goes for four hours before it goes on to that Weber kettle. Well, folks, the temps out here are 39 degrees. Overnight they might drop a little bit more. Upper 30s, but this is what we're going with. Will it work? Who knows? We got our lit briquettes put into the vortex. Go ahead and put our lid on here. Down here we have our stoker unit. That's right, stoker unit. All right, so we got our stoker unit set up. I got it set for 215. That's what I'm going to try to get this pit running low and slow at. Got all these wires and all this nonsense going on. Going through the top vent. I don't want to put any gaps through the, the lid and the kettle there. So all right, we'll just crack this maybe about a third of the way, I'm thinking. I think we're going to be all right. So, see you in about seven and a half hours. Well, all right, folks, it's morning. Eight and a half hours later, since I first put the brisket on, my ready check is that uh, meat temp internal is 140 and temp of the pit is 221. My stoker unit, uh, 215. That's what that reading is. Thing performed excellent as usual. Can't beat it. All right, I have no idea what we're going to see here when I lift this lid. Wow, look at that. Look at all that charcoal left. That's probably two thirds charcoal left. That's just crazy. That brisket. Nice color on it. Oh, got that alarm. Alarm's going off. I have the ready check alarm on. High limit 250 and low limit 200. That thing did not go off all night long. It just rock and rolled. Consistent. 220, 225. 
215 all night. Alright, so at the 10 hour mark, I turned my stoker up to 225. Alright, so here we are at the 11th hour. Let's take a look and see how much charcoal we have. Oh, at the 11th hour, there you have it. That's what it's looking like. Plenty of charcoal. I think I'm going to turn up the stoker to 235 now. Alright folks, we are at the 14 hour mark. 14 hours with this. Can you believe it? Look at that. That's how much charcoal I got left after 14 hours. Brisket's getting a nice bark on it. Let's just shake these up a little bit. Knock this. Knock that ash down a little bit. Fourteen hours. I probably got another couple hours in there before I'll add add any more. Fourteen hours with that vortex ring. It's just crazy. It's about time to wrap this brisket. We're almost at 160. Nice color on it. Look at that. Alright. Alright, well, while I have this lid off, I decided to go ahead and dump a little bit more charcoal in there. It'll be almost time to wrap. Alright, we've reached 160. That's what what it's looking like. Nice color there. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it, get it back on. Alright, well here we are people. 18 hours later. 18 hours on this slow and slow cook. Using that vortex ring, modified vortex ring, that brisket is finally done. All right, well, here goes the tip for the day. Whenever you're using that charcoal, people, all you charcoal users out there, what you want to do is you want to give it a bang. Bang that kettle. Rock that ash, ash cleaner out there. Give it a bang. You guys probably already know that, but I'm just... Just saying, just saying, all right, I'm going to turn that stoker all the way down so that thing quits uh, quits turning on, and I'm going to close this up. You know what I'm going to do? Instead of taking that wrapped brisket out, I'm just going to leave it in there. It's wrapped. It'll stay warm. What do you got there, HMB? What do I got there? Look at the color of that. Wow, that's some brisket point. Can you see that? No, you're wrong. Oh, look at way. the color. Oh, well. Look at that. Wow. wow. Look at that. The color is amazing. Wow, let's see what we can do with this. Well, this is a point. It, the grain is running this way, so... Oh, don't cut it like that, you dumbass! Now I'm just messing with you. Here we go. The grain's running this way, so let's cut it across the grain. brisket point there you go look at that 
This video was not about the brisket. It was all about the setup of the vortex ring being modified using charcoal in the Weber kettle over a long, low and slow period of time. So, I'm happy with it. That vortex ring, it works. So, that's my video. How about that? Nice little smoke ring. Trimmed all the fat. There you go. Brisket point. There you go. There you go. Thanks, folks. Metal on. You guys rock. take a look and see what we got here. It's the next day and charcoal is cooled down. That's what's left. How about that folks? Alright, just so you know that's the amount of ash that was produced by that long cook. So, it kind of gives you an idea how much charcoal I used. Alright folks, one more thing. Wow, that's pretty cool.